Hi there, my name is Peter and I'm here with a new video from Verity Medical to show you some of the exciting features of the Neurotrack Maya Plus 2. The Neurotrack ETS is a device that many of you are familiar with, but now it has been superseded by the Maya Plus range of devices, the single channel Maya Plus 1, the dual channel Maya Plus 2 and the quad channel Maya Plus 4 and Maya Plus 4S. Discover for yourself the many advantages of the Maya Plus 2, improved speakers, backlit LCD screen, and most importantly, better functionality and more programs to help improve your quality of life. In the Maya Plus 2, you have a visual comparison between the graphs. This way, you can check the balance between two groups of muscles. For example, when you contract your pelvic floor, the reading from the probe is on channel A. Now, when you connect your abdominal muscle, or buttocks, to channel 2, you can compare both areas to make sure you contract in the correct place. Try to contract your pelvic floor and your vaginal reading should be significantly higher than from other areas. This provides ultimate control and assessment of what is actually being trained and how the training is progressing. Compared with the ETS, the Maya Plus 2 has a far easier method of selecting programs and customising the phases within. Here in the Maya Plus 2, you can select the group of programs suitable for your particular need. For example, press the mode button to select Euro for pelvic floor and incontinence, Spore for sports and muscle development, Rehab for muscle rehabilitation programs. By pressing the Progue button, you choose which program to use. For example, Euro 19. This is a preset program named Weak Pelvic Muscle. It has five preset phases. By pressing the Set button, you can see the parameters of each time phase of the program, Euro 19. The Maya Plus 2 has 49 preset programs. You simply press the Mode button to select a group of programs. We've named these Clinical Modes. Each clinical mode, for example urology, has a list of programs, all pre-selected so you don't need to set it up. It's ready for you to go ahead with the selected stimulation or electromyographic treatment, or even a combination of both in one program. The preset treatment is fixed, but you can still change the common parameters, such as sound volume and PC connectivity. By pressing and holding the set button, you can change, for example, sound volume, auto or manual threshold, bar graph sound, EMG filter, and the PC connection status. If you cannot find the parameter you want to adjust, you can find it in one of the custom programs. Press mode to go to EMG custom. Here, press and hold set. And here, you can see all the available settings. Work time, rest time, number of repetitions, and many more. The Maya Plus 2 has plenty to offer in terms of adjustability. There are four custom modes, EMG, ETS, STIM, and also something a little bit unique. We call it P&A, and it stands for Passive and Active. This mode was created to allow you to set up a program that can consist of up to five phases. Each phase can then consist of EMG, STIM, or ETS. This flexibility allows the experienced therapist to set all they want in just one program. So the patient can then just run the program and there is no need to change modes to go between stimulation and biofeedback. The Maya Plus range of devices are all battery powered. However, the Maya Plus 2 is unique in that it uses AA batteries rather than special custom batteries. Because of this, it is better suited for use at home for your own stimulation and biofeedback exercises. The Maya Plus 2 can also be used in a clinic or a gym as a powerful diagnostic tool and muscle improver via stimulation combined with electromyography. The device itself has many options to offer, with a host of predefined programs that you can find in the program manual. 
Looking inside the case, you'll find all you need to operate your device. All units come complete with four AA batteries, providing an initial battery life of about 13 hours. Skin electrodes are included, which are to be placed directly on your body. They work for all modalities, neuromuscular stimulation, TENS, EMG and EMG triggered stimulation. Larger electrodes should be placed on bigger muscles. For incontinence, we recommend using the Very Probe. In the manuals, you'll find all the necessary information on how to work with your device. There are two manuals. One is for selecting your program, and the other, called the Operator's Manual, is for basic and advanced functionality. From this manual, you can find out how to do things like lock the device, so that the patient cannot change the program when working at home or in a clinic. There is one wire that is very important and should always be used with EMG. You don't have to use it if you're just doing stimulation, but if you monitor your EMG between stimulation periods or use EMG triggered stimulation, you should always use this wire. This wire is called the reference wire and should always be used with EMG. Insert it into the Maya Plus 2 near the reference symbol and place the electrode anywhere on your body. With old devices, the reference wire had to be placed on an elbow or near the bone. However, with the more advanced design of the Maya Plus units, the reference wire can go anywhere on the skin of the patient. See how the EMG drops when you use the reference wire. This was a brief look into the features of the Maya Plus 2. In our next film, I'll be teaching you more in depth about EMG and our unique PC software, designed with the physiotherapist and patient in mind. I look forward to seeing you then.